The 9-11 attacks 10 years ago changed the world. National Geographic has published a book full of moving and inspirational photographs. It's entitled, A Place of Remembrance, Official Book of the National September 11th Memorial. We're pleased to be joined by two people very much involved in this project. Allison Blaze is Chief of Staff of the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. Lynn Rasick was Deputy Press Secretary to Mayor Rudy Giuliani on September 11, 2001 and is Senior Vice President for Public Affairs and Communications of the Memorial Site. And we welcome them both. Thank you. Thank you. Allison, let's start with you. Please describe the lasting tribute to the innocent victims of 9-11 and the heroes that tried to save their lives. We're opening the memorial, which consists of two pools that mark the footprints of the Twin Towers, uh, where the 2983 names are arrayed uh, in bronze parapets surrounding them. Uh, there are waterfalls that cascade 30 feet down the side of each pool, and they're each about an acre in size. Lynn, what are the challenges ahead for the memorial site? Well, the memorial sits in the heart of the World Trade Center site, which is very much under construction. And so right now, you know, our goal is to open this beautiful memorial and ensure that as many people as possible can visit it safely um, in the midst of a very active construction site. What do you hope visitors to the memorial take away with them when they leave? Um, I think that we hope that they remember um, the loss of life, um, the loss of innocence that we felt on 9-11, and that they also um, feel a sense of hope about the future and um, that they remember that we have an ability to heal and come together and to create something that's lasting and beautiful. Please describe the museum for us. Uh, the museum will open in September of 2012, next year. It's, uh, it's, you enter the museum through a pavilion that's located between the two pools and the majority of the exhibitions are actually down at bedrock of the World Trade Center site. So the uh, exhibitions are situated among the authentic remnants of what was there. So you see the column remnants that outline both of the towers, the slurry wall that held back the Hudson River on September 11th, um, the survivor's staircase, and many other artifacts that we've brought back to the site. Uh, it's, a, it's a very large museum, and we tell the story of uh, the events of the day as well as the lead up to the 9-11 attacks and the ongoing implications in the world. And please tell us about the new buildings being constructed on the site. Um, well, there are several commercial towers that are currently under construction. One of them, One World Trade Center, is going to be the tallest building in the United States. Um, it's rising right now. It's about 90 stories. They're averaging about a floor a week on the construction. There's also going to be a beautiful new transportation hub uh, designed by a Spanish architect, Santiago Calatrava. Um, and then there are other commercial towers and a performing arts center that will also be built at the site. We understand the new buildings will be very strong and secure. Please tell us about that. Yes, all of the buildings have been designed to the utmost uh, security. They have the, the top consultants in the world working on this project who've done everything from the Olympics around the world uh, to um, the, our government's federal buildings. And when this is all completed, when all the buildings are up and you have the museum in operation and all that, what will this say to New York City and America as a whole? I think that it shows that we have an amazing ability as a city, a country, um, really, and as a world to come together um, in times uh, of tragedy and that we can create something that's beautiful and meaningful, um, that reflects on the loss that we shared on 9-11, but is also really about the future. Again, the name of the book, A Place of Remembrance, official book of the National September 11th Memorial. It's beautiful and all proceeds from sales of the book go to the memorial site. Allison Blaze and Lynn Rasick, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching Newsmax TV.